Welcome everyone to Century Bowl in Waterford for the exciting semifinal rounds of the Bowling Showcase Challenge Century Bowl region. I'm your host, Mark Martin, and I want to thank you for joining me for this very exciting series of matches. Here we are, the semifinals of the Century Bowl region. Now, if you remember from our earlier episodes, this year's Bowling Showcase Challenge is divided into two regions, the Mary Bowl region and the Century Bowl region. And earlier in the season, Woodland Lanes fought through their competition to earn the right to represent the Mary Bowl region, and they're eagerly awaiting their final opponent to emerge from these matches. So who will this opponent be? The Century Bowl region started with eight teams, and after four weeks of head-to-head, -head, single game Baker elimination matches, four teams remain to continue their quest to be crowned the 2019 Bowling Showcase Challenge Champions. I think that brings us up to date. The semifinal rounds of the Century Bowl region, let's take a look at today's matchup. This week's regional semifinal match features AMF Rose Bowl facing off against Five Star Lanes. Now AMF Rose Bowl, they got here by beating Indian in that exciting tie match back in round one. Their opponent today, Five Star who punched their ticket to the semifinals by beating Astro back in week four, setting up our match today. Both these teams are one step away from the regional title match and getting the chance to compete for the championship. This should be an exciting and competitive all-out battle. And joining me for all that action on the lanes is Women's Series standout and former Team Canada member, Robin Orlikowski. So let's take a quick little break Join me back at lane side for the start of this exciting match next on Bowling Showcase. We've won a lot of professional tournaments. We've won a lot of tournaments worldwide. I mean, uh, we won more in the last 10 years worldwide than any company. We, we make good bowling balls and we and good players use our bowling balls because they can win with them. So here we are in the second semifinal match, the final semifinal match of the Century Bowl Region Bowling Showcase challenge. Uh, Robin Orlikowski with me. Robin, thank you for being here all these weeks. It's been an honor. You know, we're getting one step closer to that final. Yeah, they, the trophy is within reach. That's <laughs> right. So we've got AMF Rose Bowl and Five Star Lanes. Five Star's been in this position before. This AMF Rose Bowl team has not. So these are kind of like a bunch of rookies. Even though they bowled pretty good, remember they, they were the tie match. Right. In the first round. So exciting. It is. So Roy Thompson leading off for Rose Bowl. Oh, does it roll? No. Leaves the 10 pin. Something that Roy is very proud of is he won a tournament at Rose Bowl over Labor Day and has also thrown a 299 game at the Hamtramck's. Nice. Nice. High average of 216 for Roy. Okay. And covers that 10 pin easily. Rick Schultz now up on the right hand lane. Detroit Bowling Hall of Famer, Michigan Majors Hall of Famer. Rick was a coach for seven years at uh, Warren Fitzgerald High School. So he's done a lot for the sport and given back a lot to the sport. Yeah, that's great. I love seeing that. Light leaves okay. the 210. 210, we've seen this one before in some of, some of the previous weeks. Uh, we haven't seen it made yet. No. Maybe it's time to see it made. It would be really nice if he could, because the last match that he bowled in, unfortunately, he left a 10 pin on his first one, and he missed it, so... Well, he did get one, he's though. Got a, he's got a, an open frame here, but when, if you're going to have an open frame in a Baker format, 
Doing it in the first frame is probably the best place to have it if you're going to have one at all. If you've got to have one, that's the time to do, do it. Do it there. Yep. So Terry Catchpole up on the left-hand lane. We've talked about her and her career before. A recent inductee into the Detroit Bowling Hall of Fame. Uh, Two-time defending champion of the Metro Detroit USBC Senior Queens. And number of, sorry, go ahead. Number of 300 games. Ooh, a little high on the head there, but high uh, leaves the four-seven. Breaking it up, leaving the four-seven. So since she's become eligible to be considered a senior, because I'm not really sure, if fifty is that senior, but for bowling it is considered it. Is. it. She has made the senior all city team and won the senior queens twice. So two years back to back, like that's great. <laughs> two for two. Wow. I'd like to be in those shoes. Twice eligible, twice got it, right? Just like that two pin spared she just made. No, no problem for her. No problem. Marissa Lepansky up for five star on the right hand lane. Marissa's got a solid, solid game here. She's got a very simple game, just down and in. Has two 300 games to her title. Oh. oh. Rock the 10 pin. Just wasn't enough to, to get it out. I saw it jump. Yeah, it did wiggle. Now she gets her spare ball. I'm going to go cross lane at it. Marissa is married, and in her free time, she does enjoy sporting events with basketball and football. She really likes the Lions. Probably why she has that colored spare ball. Ugh. Right. Five, five stars quickly digging themselves a hole. Okay, the Rose Bowl team, Rose Bowl number two, I guess, or don't be sad, Fred team. <laughs> Mike Cannon up on the left-hand lane in his fancy pants. Uh-oh. I think he's stuck up Looks there. Like he might have stuck up there. Left the one, two. Linked it to the right there, but your approach is so important in bowling. That's For, your foundation. Yeah. So a lot of times you don't have to throw the, the most perfect ball, but if you can have a solid approach, you can get away with a lot. I think he was a little scared. Yep, but he covered it up. On that spare, just because he's sticking the first time. Yep, you got it. Some camaraderie among the teams. Again, we're seeing that. That's always nice to see. Roger Folkema up on the right-hand lane. Really awesome, cool fact about him was he was in the Air Force for six years, yeah. and he was a Chinese cryptological linguist. He's a staff sergeant. Roger leaves a 10 pin on the right hand lane. Haven't seen any strikes yet in this match. No, I think, I don't know if the, the lanes are different from week to week on the matches. Maybe they're not exactly the same as they were when they bowled previously. Um, but now's the time to really communicate between teammates on what you're seeing. And, just paying attention, even on the five-star team, they need to pay attention to what the Rose Bowl team is doing because it could affect, you know, what pins you're leaving, it could affect what moves you make. It could, and uh, plus that, in the second half of the match, they'll be on that lane. Right, exactly. So Marcus Zioli up in the left-hand lane for the Rose Bowl team. Oh my goodness. So what kind of nine pin was that? I would call that a stone nine. Kind of hits you in the heart yep. a little bit. Great shot by Marcus, though. Yeah. Great shot. You know, it's kind of one of those ones, you let it off your hand, you think, man, I hit it, I got it, and then something happens. That's all you can do is you can just throw the best ball you can. You can't control what the ball does once it leaves your hand. Yep. So Pat Cusick, fourth bowler for Five Star. Five Stars dug themselves a little hole. They're down by 17 pins. I guess they're pretty fortunate that Rose Bowl hasn't started stringing strikes with those two open frames they had. Yeah, still early in the match to almost even predict who's going to win. 
Well, we really need to see some strikes here to put the pressure on each other. Yes. Oh. Leaving at 10 pin. Ball looked pretty flat to me. Just didn't seem like it had much of a. Just didn't quite make the turn the corner. Back did it? end. Well, lanes must be a little tighter this week than they have been. Yeah. Patrick, in his free time, he enjoys watching movies and playing video games. Ay, ay, ay. Yikes. Another what I'll call unforced error. In tennis, they call it an unforced error. I think you can, that applies to bowling also. Yeah. Single pin spares kind of, kind of get you a little bit. Yeah. 29 pin lead now for the Rose Bowl team. Fred Daniels up. If you remember right from the previous one, he beat Chuck Norris in a street fight. <laughs> he also was telling me about one time he went to the zoo and this alligator was looking at his daughter like it was going to be dinner. He slid that four pin across all the way from the left side where the four pin starts. Slid it all the way across to the ten, the ten pin gutter. It must be something with the way he throws the ball, because before he had the ten pin almost slid over to the eight pin position, but carried, and that one went the opposite direction. It's yes, just powerful. <laughs> so Jim Grant now up for the five star lanes team on the right hand lane. They really need a strike here to kind of set themselves up for the second half of the match, being down by twenty nine. Yeah, well, Jim's career of 42 years in bowling and so many 300s and 800s to his name. I have a feeling he's going to help his team out here. Oh no. Another flat 10. So I'm so finding... Five, five star, this is the third 10 pin they've left yeah. in the first half of this game. So the right lane to me is definitely tighter than it's been playing in the past. So there's a couple different things you can do to get the ball to just check up a little earlier, to come into the pocket a little bit more. You can either bring your eyes in where you're looking to get the ball to start up earlier. You can move a board right for a right-hander to get it to, to start up and get into the pocket a little bit heavier. And he flags and it, And another too. unforced error. So oh, I stand no. corrected. Four, four frames in a row on that right-hand lane. Five stars now left the 10 pin, and they missed three of them. They have dug themselves one heck of a hole. 40 pin deficit going into the turn. Any advice for five star for from the, from our professional here? Well, how about try to strike <laughs> so you don't leave the corner pins to have to pick up. But you know what? We've seen it before in the past where the teams have been almost even going into the second half and then one team just really accelerates while the other one almost falls apart. So. Who knows how it's going to be, because now Rose Bowl, has, who has been bowling really well, is going to the right lane, and that right lane seems a little bit tighter. Right. So we'll see how if they've paid attention yep. to how the, the leaves that the other team was leaving. So we'll be back right after these messages on Bowling Showcase Challenge. We'll see the second half of the final semifinal round here at the Century Bowl Region Bowling Showcase Challenge. The hug pickup, the home run swing, the drum major high step, the genuine joy, the unforgettable party, the food, the friends, the original social network. No matter who you are, it's always a great time. Grab your family, find a friend, and go bowling. Okay, here we are. We're back for the second half of the final semifinal round match, Century Bowl Region Bowling Showcase Challenge. AMF Rose Bowl with a 40-pin lead, working on a strike, going into the sixth frame, teams have switched lanes. So we're going to see if Rose Bowl has the same problems on the right lane that Five Star did. So up on the left-hand lane for Five Star, now that they're on, quote, 
the easier lane <laughs> or the more scorable lane. We'll see what happens. Rick Schultz up on the left-hand lane. All right, last time he had a split. Was it the two? Uh, two ten. Two ten. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh Great my shot. Goodness. I mean, you can't throw it any better than that. Solid eight pin. I Used to call it, and I'm sure it still exists, the only true tap in bowling. Mm -hmm. oh, I know he really wanted that one because he, you know, he opened last time, wanted to help his team Threw out. a great shot there. Yeah. All Absolutely right. threw a great shot. Knows he picks it up, walks away. He picked it up. All right. So Roy Thompson up for the Rose Bowl team on the right-hand lane. He's a fan of all Detroit sports. My kind of guy. <laughs> Likes to spend time with his family. Has two daughters. Okay. Double for Rose Bowl, extends their lead to 50 pins in the sixth frame. Marissa Lepanski up on the left-hand lane. High average 212, lives in Warren. And what did she do her last time? 10 pin. Yeah, she left a 10 pin. She started this ugly streak. She's got to break oh. it right here. <laughs> She's got to break it right here. And wow. she does. Oh my goodness. A strike. But it almost slid over to the 10 pin position. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Terry, Terry Catchpole now up on the right-hand lane. Back in the third frame, left the 1-2. I'm sorry, in the second frame, left the 4-7 and picked it up. Mm -hmm. Let's see what she does here. It looks a little high. Yep, she kind of tugged on that one a little bit. All right. Left the 3-10 split, commonly referred to as? The baby split. The baby split. So it looks like she's picked up her spare ball, right? Yep. That's how I would attack it as well. So you wouldn't try to hook into it. You would kind of fade out to it. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Good. Good cover. <laughs> cover. Okay. Five star down by 50 pins, working on a strike. Good chance for Roger Fulcom to throw a strike here and at least... Slim the lead down to 40 pins with a strike right here. Yeah, we still have three frames left. Still need to put the pressure on. Still need to perform. Absolutely. And Good he carries. Shot. Five stars kind of made the adjustment if there was an adjustment to be made. Yes. He left that solid eight pin by Rick Schultz and now followed by a couple of strikes. So, hey, Mike Cannon now. Mike Cannon up on the right-hand lane for the Rose Bowl team. Oh, my goodness. And leaves the... Nine, stone nine. The stone nine. Is that the same lane? No, it was no. the floors on 47. Yep. But still, ugh. <laughs> my heart hurts. I agree. <laughs> Mike really enjoys spending time with his granddaughters, Harper and Sophie. And a good, co good cover by Mike. Okay, five-star Pat Cusick, it's your time to shine. Yep. Working on a double, five-star is. They've cut into the lead a little bit. We've got a deficit of 39 pins now. They can cut that deficit to 29 with another strike. I guess sometimes you just got to chip away at it, right? Sometimes, yep. You never know. what I mean, something disastrous could happen in the next two frames here for the other team. So got to put the pressure on. I like that he's taking his time. A little wide oh. leaves a two pin. Pat, 
relatively easy spare for a bowler of his caliber. And covers it easily. Well done. The five star has a max score of 174. And AMF Rose Bowl going at a 204 clip. Okay. Foundation frame here. Need to see Marcus at least try to keep clean here for his team. He's got 15 300s to his name and three 800 series with a high of 822. All right, he's light in the pocket as well and leaves a two pin. Another two pin. In the summertime, he really enjoys going up north and spending time on his boat on the lake. Got to take advantage of it with these Michigan summers. Yes, absolutely. Oh, another fun fact about him. He makes championship wrestling belts. The ones like hmm. that you see on oh, TV. Yeah. Wonder if we could get him to fashion a championship bowling belt. Oh, that would be cool. That would be nice, I would wouldn't it? I'd love to win that. That's right. Would that be better than the cup? Well, that cup is pretty outstanding. I really I <laughs> like that. So Jim Grant up in here in the 10th frame, he has nothing to do but throw three strikes. Just the, the belt, though, that would be so unique. It would. That would be really cool. It would. You'd have to wear it while you bowl, though. Oh. Well, keep my top half up <laughs> a little more upright. All right, good shot there. That is a good shot by All right. Jim. I think he uh, wanted to redeem himself from the first half of the game. Well, I know three players on that team who would uh, like to redeem themselves mm -hmm. from the first half of the game. And maybe even four with Rick Schultz and that 2-10 split back in frame one. They're doing good the second half here. They are. Dug themselves a big hole, though. They sure did. Yeah. I Easy. Could, I Easy. could tell. I mean, if you saw the way he, like, the ball just came off of his hand, he was solid at the line. That was a good shot. You know, I, I, I share your philosophy on that. You don't even need to look at the pins when you look at the bowler. Right. And know whether the ball is in the pocket or not. Yeah, you can tell if it, it was a good release and a, yeah. And solid at the line, like mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, all right. 173 for five star. Rose Bowl has 161 in the eighth, spare up in the ninth, the virtual lock. All Fred's got to do is keep the ball on the lane. Yep. Two pins, and True. he's got it. True. Yep. And he's got it. I like regardless of what he has to do, he's still taking his time on the approach. Okay. All up right. to 310 split. All right. Well, we saw Terry pick this up earlier. Yes. So I wonder if a big guy like him can learn anything from a gal like Terry. Sure. Let's see how he how he attacks this one, whether Let's he hooks into it or. All right. Yeah. Well, that's what's so nice about bowling is that it's 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 you and the pins. It's not necessarily you against your opponent. It's more you against the pins. It is. So there's not necessarily. A there is no defense in bowling woman versus man sort of thing, although we, we like to have fun with that. Yes. And I'll have to say that I do enjoy times when I'm beating up on the boys. <laughs> I don't think they like it, but. And the boys just take it in good nature. <laughs> oh, good shot there, where to finish. Good shot, 199 for the Rose Bowl team. They advance to the finals, five star, 173. Five Star just shot themselves in the foot the first half of the match. Yeah, the spares really hurt the situation, but... Um, they threw 30 pins away. They redeemed themselves the second half. It just wasn't enough against the other team. Threw 30 pins away and lost by 26. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... You know, I mean, I mean, it, they know it. I don't have to tell them. I don't have to say it on the telecast here. Yeah. They know that. They don't feel good. That's right. Okay, so our finals are now set, but we're going to be back after these messages 
Our coach of the year, Ken Clayton, will be out there and interviewing the winning team, the AMF Rose Bowl team, on their victory and their advance to the finals of the Century Bowl region in the Bowling Showcase Challenge. Next. Michigan State USBC provides tournament competition and recognition for men, women, and youth in Michigan. The championship events for this season include the Women's Championship beginning in February in Lansing, the Open Championship beginning in January in Grand Blanc, and the Youth Championship beginning in March in Granville and Comstock Park. These events are open to all members of the association based on gender and membership. Other events for higher average bowlers include the Youth Masters in November in Battle Creek, the Queens in April in Sanford, the Senior Masters for those over 50 in March, and Masters in April, both in Battle Creek. Pepsi Youth events take place in your league with qualifiers advancing to the state finals in May in Troy and Sterling Heights. Visit MichiganStateUSBC.com for entry blanks and more information on the Michigan State USBC. Welcome back to Bowling Showcase. The kids from Rose Bowl did it again. Clean game. What do you got to say about that, guys? Our fault, uh, big ups to them. They did a great job, but the uh, team just stayed clean like we needed to do. Uh, and we're just on to the next round. All right, congratulations. Good luck in the next round. Thank you. Thanks, Ken. You know, the uh, uh, just like you said, they were clean that game. Yeah. Clean. No doubles, no errors, no unforced errors, no forced errors. 199 to 173, and now they're on to the finals of the, of the Century Bowl region. Yeah, it's exciting. So what are we looking for? We have two, two new teams bowling against each other in the finals of the Century Bowl region. We have yeah. Waterford Lanes right. and Rose Bowl, this team here with Fred Daniels. Um, it's what do you be, expect? It's going to be exciting. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see two new teams who have never been in this environment before competing against each other for the title of this region. I think, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of cool, calm, collected bowling. I it's agree. really fun. Um, I think if whoever stays clean, my prediction is they're going to be the winner. Okay, we'll see you next week. Next week we have the finals of the Century Bowl region, Waterford Lanes, AMF Rose Bowl. Be there. <laughs>